In today's class, we're going to be practicing one of the greatest sequences ever for keeping the mind and body young and vital. The Complete Spinal Series focuses on developing a strong and flexible spine and nervous system, making it the perfect practice to integrate as part of your daily routine and assure your system is functioning optimally every day. Hi guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to Refill Yoga. If you enjoy learning about chakras, energy and consciousness, then you're in the right place. Check out our online courses to take your knowledge and practice further and join our mailing list to receive up-to-date information and exclusive offers on our latest workshops, courses and live retreats. You'll find links to those in the description below. For now, let's get ready to practice. We will begin today's class in a comfortable seated position. So find your seat, pressing the seat down, reaching the crown of the head up, roll the shoulders back and down so the heart is open, soft and relaxed. Close the eyes, turn the attention inside, and take a deep inhalation through the nose. Fill the body with breath, then open the mouth and sigh it out. Ah. Softening into the body, softening the mind. Let's do that again. Deep inhalation. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Oh, as you sigh, feel the vibrations massaging the nervous system. One more time. This time we'll hold the breath. Deep inhalation. Sniff in even more and hold the breath. Hold the breath and relax into it for three, two, one, side out. <sighs> Sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside. Take a moment to notice where you are now in your body, how you feel before the practice, your energy your emotions. Just notice anything that's calling out to you. There's no need to change anything. It's just about developing presence, coming to right here, right now. Hmm. Beautiful. And in this space of presence and allowing, we're going to tune in with the mantra, Ang Namo Guru Dev Namo. I bow to the collective consciousness for inspiration. I bow to the guru within for guidance. Remember, you are your own guru. The truth, the path, the purpose for your life comes from within. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Bring the hands together in front of the heart, sitting nice and tall. Take a deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. And inhale to chant. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Again, deep inhalation. Feeling the resulting vibrations. Tune in with your truth, your inner guide. Mm, beautiful, gently coming back. We're going to start today by warming the spine with Sufi grind. Having the hands on the knees, we're going to lean forwards. We're going to rotate towards the left, around back, right and forward. Drawing as big a circles as we can, 
Inhaling as we come forward, exhaling back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. I invite you to close your eyes and turn your attention inside. Bring your awareness down to the base of the spine and feel the seat rocking around on the mat, connecting with the base. Feel the support beneath you. Bring your awareness up into the pelvic region, feeling the awakening of the hips and pelvis. Feel this rotation in the abdominal area, massaging the internal organs, awakening the digestive system. Feel it in the chest, opening the heart and lungs. Feel this rotation all the way up into the throat center. Awakening each vertebrae. And the next time you come to the front, we're going to switch directions, rotating in the opposite direction, still inhaling forward, exhaling back. Eyes closed. We'll go through the same sequence of awareness, feeling the rotation at the base of the spine, the connection with the earth, feeling this rotation in the pelvic region, waking up the sexual energy. Feeling it in the abdomen, stimulating the digestive fire. Feeling it in the heart and lungs, connecting with the air. Feeling this rotation all the way from the base up to the throat. Creating space between each of the vertebrae. The Sufi grind is an amazing way to keep the spine flexible, healthy, and young. Take a deep inhalation. Sit nice and tall, hold the breath, relax the body. And release. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside. Feeling fine vibrations from the base of the spine all the way to the top of the head. A deep massage of the spinal column, the awakening of the nervous system, the mind becoming more calm and more present. Hmm. Beautiful, gently coming back. We're going to extend the legs out in front of us. We're going to do a life nerve stretch to wake up the back of the legs and to wake up the base of the spine. Keep the legs flexed, toes are coming back, heels pressing forward, fingers spread wide, palms facing each other. We're going to inhale back, we're going to exhale forward through the nose. Little quick sniff and throw breath. Inhale back, exhale forward. Let's begin. As you do this, visualize pumping energy in through the base of the spine. You can keep this awareness on the tilting of the pelvis, drawing in energy along the back of the legs to the base of the spine, Muladhara Chakra. Deep inhalation, sit nice and tall, keep the arms up, hold the breath and squeeze Mula Bandha. Contract the genitals, the anus, the lower belly, lock this energy inside at the base of the spine. And then exhale, folding forward, if you can, placing your hands on the feet or the shins. Close the eyes and bring your awareness down to the base of the spine. There, the perineum between the genitals and anus. Visualize this area charging with energy. This is Muladhara Chakra, our inner battery. Keep your mind focused at the base of the spine. 
breathing into this space. Beautiful, gently coming back. You can rest on your hands for a moment. Close the eyes. Feeling a pleasant sensation along the legs. The energizing at the base of the spine. Feeling stable, grounded, and vital. Hmm. Beautiful. We're going to make our way into Sukhasana, a comfortable pose. Where we cross the legs, we've got the feet under the knees. And hold on to the shins. We're going to start rocking the pelvis forward and back, flexing the spine and really focusing on the movement coming from down in the pelvic region. So we inhale and we rock the pelvis forward. We exhale, we rock the pelvis back. The whole spine is going to tilt, but we focus primarily on the lower centers here. We'll do this for one minute. Let's begin. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. All the breathing is through the nose, sniff and throw breath. You can start slow, and I encourage you to pick up the pace as it feels comfortable. The thing about Kundalini Yoga is the more you invest now, the more you get back at the end. So give a little bit and receive a lot. As we do this movement, we're waking up the base of the spine, waking up the area of the first three chakras, the centers that bring us the most vitality, courage, confidence, energy, and power. And deep inhalation, sit nice and tall, hold the breath and squeeze Mula Bandha, contracting the rectum, sex organ and navel, lock this energy in at the base. And release and relax, sitting with the eyes closed, tension turned inside, feeling the energy, the base of the spine, waking up of the lower spine. Stimulating, massaging the nervous system. Tiny vibrations moving throughout your body. And gently coming back. We're going to make our way to sitting on the heels and perform the same movement. Only this time, instead of focusing low down in the pelvis, we're going to focus in the center of the chest. So inhaling the heart forward, exhaling, rounding back. Again, the whole spine is moving, but we're focusing mostly in the center of the chest. Let's begin. Inhale forward, exhale back. Remember, energy moves in waves, just like the light, just like the sound. So does the energy in our body move. So when we move the spine in this wave-like motion, we really encourage the harmonizing of the energy along the spine awakening the entire nervous system. Deep inhalation, sitting nice and tall. Hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, locking the energy in. And release, relax. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling the energy naturally rising to the heart center. Creating a sense of lightness in the body as we move towards the lighter elements, 
the lighter chakras. Hmm. Beautiful, gently coming back. You can come to any comfortable seated position now. We're going to do some twisting. So sitting nice and tall, opening the arms to the sides. We're going to bend the elbows so the thumbs are behind the shoulders, fingers are in front. And we're going to inhale, twisting left, exhale, twisting right. Inhaling left, exhaling right with the sniff and throw breath. You can start slow and pick up the pace as is comfortable. Twisting is a great way to keep the spine flexible. And as we say, you're as young as your spine is flexible. So doing this movement encourages the energy to flow, also helps to prevent injury, massages the internal organs, detoxifies the body. The more you invest, the more you receive. Deep inhalation to center, keep the arms up. Hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, lock the energy in. And release and relax, lower the hands to the lap, sitting with the eyes closed, the tension inside. Feeling the energizing across the chest, heart center. Feeling lighter with each action, each Kriya bringing you more purity, more expansion. Hmm. Beautiful. Gently coming back. Next exercise is for working the chest up into the throat center. We're going to bring the left hand in front of the heart facing away from us. The right hand towards, we're going to interlace the fingers and pull. We want to pull tightly so that we're engaging this whole area. We want to make sure that the hands stay in front of the chest. They're not floating up. We're going to do something up here after. Keeping the hands at sternum level. We're going to inhale the left elbow up, exhaling the right elbow up, lifting the elbows up and feeling the spine moving back and forth like that of a snake. Very purifying for the nervous system, for the lymphatic system. If you feel any sort of cramping, you can go a bit slower, but I encourage you to continue for the full minute. Let's begin coming into position, locking the fingers, pulling, sitting nice and tall. Inhale the left elbow up, exhale the right elbow up. Let's begin. This is a really good movement for activating the thymus gland, the gland of Anahata Chakra, boosting our immune system, purifying our being. If you feel cramping, just keep breathing. Last 20 seconds. Deep inhalation, hands to center, pull the hands, squeeze Mula Bandha, lock the energy in. And release, relax. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside. Feeling the energy moving from the heart up to the throat center. Feeling lighter, calmer and more expansive. Hmm. And gently coming back. 
Next exercise is for moving energy up beyond the throat, up into the mind and up to the crown. Uh, the throat is kind of the bottleneck, so this is a very powerful practice where we're going to be holding the breath both in and out. We will be using Mula Bandha, the contraction of the genitals and anus, to try to push the energy up. And we will have the eyes turned up into Shambhavi Mudra, gazing to the middle of the forehead. When we do the exhalation, you can also apply Uriyana Bandha, if you're familiar with it, where we draw the diaphragm in and up. If you're not familiar with that technique, you can check out this video later. Uh, and just use Mula Bandha, the contraction of the genitals and anus. It's still working. So this time we're going to have the hands in the same position in front of the throat. We'll be inhaling, holding the breath in, squeezing Mula Bandha, turning the eyes up, and visualize the energy going up the spine, over the top of the head to the middle of the forehead. We're going to hold the breath in for some time that's comfortable. Then we're going to exhale all the breath out. <sighs> Lungs completely empty. Squeeze Mula Bandha. Uriyana, if it's familiar to you, sending the energy up with Shambhavi Mudra. Then we'll inhale the arms overhead, do the same thing. Hold the breath in, squeeze, send the energy up. Then we'll exhale the breath out, <sighs> squeezing, pulling Uriyana Bandha, sending the energy up, focusing at the middle of the forehead. Then we'll inhale back down. We'll go up and down three times, okay? Let's begin. Left hand in front of the throat, right hand towards, pulling. We'll start exhale. <sighs> Deep inhalation, hold the breath, pull the arms, squeeze the genitals, focus in the middle of the eyebrow center, eyes turned up, Shambhavi Mudra, keep sending the energy up, visualizing the energy going up the spine, over the top of the head to the middle of the forehead. Then exhale all the breath out, lungs are empty, squeeze the genitals, pull the arms, turn the eyes up, send the energy up. Release the bandhas, inhale overhead, pull the arms, squeeze the genitals, send it up. Exhale all the breath out, keep the arms overhead, pulling the arms, squeezing, sending it up. Inhale the hands to throat level. Pull the arms, squeeze the bandhas, send it up. Keep the hands in front of the throat, exhale completely. <sighs> bandhas. Inhale the arms overhead, sending it up. Keep the arms overhead, exhale. <sighs> Inhale the hands to the throat center. <sighs> Keep the hands at the throat, exhale. <sighs> Inhale the arms overhead. Keep the arms overhead. Exhale, last one. Deep inhalation. And release and relax. Lower the hands to the lap, sitting with the eyes closed, tension turned inside. Feeling the continued rising of energy. Stimulation of energy in the middle of the forehead, Ajna Chakra. Purifying of the thoughts, expanding of the mind. Gently coming back. We have one final practice today. We're going to perform Satkriya. We're going to be in a 
kneeling position, sitting on the heels. You can take a block or cushion if you need. We're going to interlace the fingers in Venus lock. If you want to charge the masculine energy, the right thumb is on top and the left little finger is on bottom. If you want to charge the feminine energy, the left thumb is on top and the right little finger is on bottom. From here, we're going to extend the index fingers, pointing. We'll have the arms up overhead, straight up, as straight as possible. And we're going to chant Sat Nam. Sat Nam means I am truth. Truth is my name. Sat Nam. Identifying with that inner truth, that inner perfection, that divine spark within each and every one of us. As we chant Sat, we're going to draw the belly in. Feel Sat explode at the navel. Sat. And as you say Nam, we relax the belly. Sat. Nam, Sat, Nam, Sat, Nam. Okay, as we do this, we're channeling the energy up all the way through the crown. At the end, we're going to do this for three minutes. At the end, we're going to take a deep inhalation. We're going to hold the breath. We're going to squeeze Mula Bandha, squeeze the belly, squeeze the chest, squeeze as if we're rolling the tube of toothpaste, squeezing the energy all the way up through the crown, really trying to visualize this energy shooting straight up, expanding our being. Then we'll release, we'll relax for a moment. And we'll go directly into Shavasana. Okay. Interlacing the fingers. Pointing the index fingers. Inhale the arms up overhead. Relaxing exhalation. And let's begin. Sat Nam. 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 Sat Nam 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 deep inhalation hold the breath squeeze the genitals the belly the chest squeeze the energy all the way up through the crown send it up send it up And release. 
Lower the hands to the lap. Sitting with the eyes closed, tension turned inside. Feeling the continued rising of energy, the overall effect of today's practice, lightness in the body, feeling awakened, open, and expansive. Gently coming back. We will close today's class by chanting together one time the mantra Sat Nam, a long Sat and a short Nam. I am truth. Bring the hands together in front of the heart. Take a deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. Inhale to chant. Sat Nam Sat Nam everyone, thank you for joining me, Namaste.